Hello everybody, welcome to Claro Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today is an interesting episode. Do I always say that? Because we're going to be talking about Dior, two items that are new to my collection, not new in, in times. However, I'll tell you the story of why I ordered these items right now. But let's first disclose what they are. They came in this beautiful box. Of course, I already took the bow out. And, and then, of course, it comes with a sticker. Of course, I already opened it, but I left a little bit so you see. <laughs> and so we're opening this thing. And so the first item is this Dior um, 459 Charnel. This is a blush but I've been wanting to get this forever. And I actually thought it was gonna be more nude peachy because look at the color. It ends up being very brownish, kind of tan brown, I don't know. I just really like it because it is different. It's still nude, it's still neutral, it's still, we're gonna try it out, of course. Love, love, love. And then I ordered this other, uh, quad is called Grand Vol 539. Now this quintuple, I don't know how you call it, or this fifth for this uh, five color couture. Um, it's not new. It's a little in the goldens. Look how beautiful. Wow. Let me take that little thing out. I I seen this in the past, I just, I don't know why, I just thought it was a little too nude or neutrals. Look how beautiful this is. And I guess right now that's why I ordered it, precisely for that reason. But the story behind it is, there's a new eyeshadow that came out. It's called, why am I missing all the names right now? But it is Golden Bouquet. And, uh, and Golden Bouquet, I saw a picture in the Instagram and it was already out. And for some reason, I understood that it was not coming to the US. And I was salivating. I'm like, I want that. It was more mats, right? And so I heard that this one was similar in the nudes, but it had a lot more shine. Look at this shimmer, right? We're gonna swatch this in a minute. And so, um, I ordered it immediately. I'm like, I don't care, I'll order it. If I can't get the other one, I'll order this one. The next day, I find out that it just came out to the US and it was selling and everything, being the new one. So of course I ordered it. Now I was in the fans because I already ordered this, da, 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 but I ordered it anyways. One is very matte, this is more shimmer, and I thought, you know, if anything, I'll combine them. And so we're gonna be doing a video on the new one and combine later on. But for now, I had to do it on this, right? This one came in first. So, if you're interested in these two items, please keep on watching. And please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, please ring the bell in the right-hand corner so you know when uh, a new video comes up. All right, so let's continue. The other great news is I just got my hair done. I think I'm gonna say that in all the videos I'm filming today. So, don't expect that I can do this even though it looks like a couple of birds can come and nest and put some eggs in it. You know, it reminded me of Cam Camila, you know, Charles, Prince Charles' uh, wife. There's a, a famous picture, I don't know what event she was, but she was wearing this hat with a big kind of feather <laughs> hair. I mean, hat. It totally reminded me of that, but without the hat. Mm. Anyways, I hope you know who I'm talking about, right? All right, so let's try this real quick. We don't have to ta 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 ta. Now, what do I have in my face? I am loving, loving, loving this. I did a whole video on the give. This is pronounced give. I don't know why. It's G X V E, but it's pronounced give from Gwen Stefani. Gwen Stefani. Um, glosses. I made a whole video, all different shades. I have them all, except I hadn't ordered this one. And once I saw how the other bold pinkish look, which I liked, I had to order this one. And this is called All My Love. 
love it all right so that's what I have on my things I put a little Tara uh, from Tom Ford bronzer and I did apply a little bit of the Nteye blush just that's the pinkish that you see I would apply that anyways so uh, let's swatch this new blush and apply it a little bit on top uh, I debated if I should do that right put it on top or clean cheek I'll be using that blush in other videos uh, so don't worry you'll see how that one works I think even if I use it just by itself I still will miss a little bit of pink so I thought eh, if I'm gonna do it anyways um, you know I hope I hope this is okay so a little bit of this two 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 again you see that it looks a little bit of reddish brownish but I think it looks a lot more brown oh yeah so it's one of those blushes that you can use as a nude brown for everything look at that wow you see the difference right I mean it brings a little bit of the red it's still bronzing because this is bronze but um, in a very would you say terracotta sort of way hmm. let me put it a little bit on this side I don't know it's a very interesting blush that ramps up ramps up the look without overpowering and in a nude sort of way which is the interesting part not in a pinkish way not in a peachy way uh, so it does have a lot of brown but usually browns in my skin color will make me look dirty you know like muddy this one doesn't do that but it is in that kind of brown sort of way and by the way I'm wearing the um, full coverage hourglass vanish foundation which if you've been with me in my channel you know I don't wear full coverage foundation often and today I am so if you see me a little more done than usual that's why all right but I thought it would apply with this sort of uh, eyeshadows because they are sort of elegant with the shimmers and stuff so I thought a little more full coverage but uh, nevertheless this quad is very very nude right I mean very very gentle so but I want you to see how natural kind of all in the same it's just kind of a the amount of shine I don't know if to call it shimmer but you see that so this one has a little more pinky champagne and this one has a little more gold and then this ones are very very natural you see that this is a very thin amount of just little shine so they all have shine this is more transparent sort of topper or just something that sparkles and then this one and then of course you have these two shades I think this is the strongest right uh, and then of course you have this black one all right let me it's not a black it's sort of oof, strong but it has a lot of brown in there is it brown and purplish it's brown but it's a beautiful brown I really like that one it, it, it I think it goes so beautiful with the gold look at this with that oh my god all right so as simple as this eyeshadow quad it's not quad queen troop um, looks I think you can do so many things because like we discussed you can really ramp up but goals or more this color and then with this one you can really do all of the eye or just kind of highlight the eye so it's very interesting what we're gonna do all right the first thing I want to apply doo -doo 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 -doo. I want to put hmm oh I'm debating I'm gonna apply the gold this gold all over my lid 
I don't know why. I was debating between this gold or this. Those two really call me. And I'm wondering if I should do half of my lid with one and half with the other. But this gold, holy moly. Look at this. Oh my God. Look at that. All right, I'll do one eye with this and one with the other. Because what I'm thinking is, I don't see any shade to be used as my crease. You know, I would have appreciated uh, one of them to be at least, at least a little bit orangey or something that would just put something there. But nope. And then of course, we own many, many shades that we could do that, right? I mean, from other palettes. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. But if you wanted everything to be in one palette, then yes, it's a big deal. All right, so, so far, I use one eye with the gold and one eye with the cooler tone, which is, I don't know what to call that. Pearl, champagne. One of my machines is talking to me. <laughs> All right. So I'm more in the mood of gold today, so I'm liking more gold because of this, but I think this is gorgeous. Especially, oh my God, you can do many things with a little more lilac, uh, purples, you know. Uh, blues, uh, just soft pinky. I mean, you can do so much with this, but I'm enjoying this goal. And so let's play now with the darkest color, which you have to be careful because it's dark, but I think that is what makes it very fun and what you can do with it. So, all right, let's apply a little bit. I'm just going to line up because I've been really dying to line up my eyes like this all day. Yes, I've been feeling like doing it. <laughs> and then down, not all the way, but yeah, satisfying. You know, my eye is wide up here, it's tall here, it's not almond like this, where then I can just do this and tie it up. Because when I open it, this is big, you see, and so it doesn't look almond-like. So, you know, this subtle look, I think, looks a little more weird on me. <laughs> but, in any case. Right? Because if I do the line, the horizontal line that you're supposed to do from here out, then it looks very heavy eye. It doesn't look just like a big line that you're just pulling out. So you saw what I did. I am pulling this one out there, but I'm trying to cut it short there and still sort of pull outwards. But see, it starts looking more Cleopatra-like. And I, it's not that I don't like the Cleopatra look. I just don't think it's the, the look like that, you know, like, look. Mm. <laughs> no, look, I mean, it just, <laughs> I'm sorry, but no. Well, we do what we can, girls. We do what we can. So now that I'm marking more or less, because I'm not putting it on the crease. I don't know if I should put a little bit on the crease, just a tiny bit. So now I'm just going to blend, 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 and we'll see what that brown, this brown is gorgeous. Do you see? It's not looking black or like, it's blending with the other colors, so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It makes it almost like copper or grayish or greenish. It's almost like the, it has, it has a little bit of of olive in there, even though it won't go green, obviously. Um, what color it reminds me? I immediately thought of Chantecai, um, you know, the duo Tibet. I'll pull it out and 
and see but it goes in that grayish champagne kind of tones huh but it is looking very low over here that is what happens with hoodiness this which could go like that yay drops and it goes below nah. <laughs> That is what we're fighting with. That is it. All right. Well, I was trying to line it, but yeah, I keep forgetting that my lips, my lids are dropping. Well, before I equalize, I want to do the other side just so we check how this brown looks with this pearly, pinkish, purplish, very different. See, now I'm going up and not all the way to the end so that prevent what just happened on the other side. Yes, I do know, but I don't learn. I say, oh, I want to do the other way. You see how... It doesn't come all the way down like this one came all the way down. That's because I started inwards and I totally went up. I could have gone even higher. Precisely so when I open, it doesn't drop all the way down here. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's very slightly, but it makes a big difference in, the, in your eye drooping, right? What happened? Yeah, this brown transforms. I like it. Now I I picked it up with a little bit of this instead of the the liner brush and I see it can really be used as a crease color because it blends with the other shades. Beautiful. Wow. Look at that. All right. I'm learning. I'm learning. So, so far, I really like this quad because you see what is happening? So, it, you don't go into the orange peachy for the crease or anything like that. This is really bringing in sophistication. I don't know why I thought of Studio 54 of New York. <laughs> Well, I know why. I got an invitation, which that is the theme, which I thought it was very clever and very cool and very fun. But uh, but it's, it is giving me that vibe. This is with the gold. This is with the pink pearl. Okay. Whew, I didn't know it was taking forever to do this, guys. All right. So should I equalize? Do you see what happened? This is with one color, this is with the other. So this side, I use this one and that. And on this side, I use the gold and that. And you can see it did shift the sort of, this one obviously looks a little cooler. And so if I would apply a little cooler and maybe more pink and everything, it will work. This is more on the warmth. I think they're gorgeous. All right, so let's equalize this. What I would do to equalize it would be, mixing all the brushes, will be to add a little bit of the cooler on the inner corner here, and a little bit of the golden on the outer corner here. Oh yeah, then you really start playing with all the colors, wow. I really like it. And then I'm gonna go a little bit beyond and just apply a little bit of this white, which is supposed to be just kind of a topper sparkly, but I'm just gonna apply a little bit in the inner corner to really make the look a little radiant, which means from lighter to darker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like, you like, I like. All right, so I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara and I will be right back. All right, I am back. 
I do not put any eyeliner. I did put some Tom Ford gel on my eyebrows. I did put a little bit of highlight. I used the Dior, the backstage, uh, which I really love this and it's not new. And, uh, and I put the mascara, that's all. I must admit, I love this palette. I didn't know, I wish I knew sooner. Look at that shine, uh, elegance, but understated. Uh, you can really use this for every day. I, you can really use this for night. I really like how that brown, you can really pile it as an eyeliner, but then you can really kind of blend it and it just creates that beautiful effect. So I'm very surprised. And of course this quad or keen, what do you call them? This five thing thing, five color, uh, is one of their staples is not new is not limited edition anything like that so it's 539 and i understand why and i'm very happy i did order it not by mistake but wishing i got the other one and, and you watch i haven't received it i'm gonna like this one better than the other i have a feeling we'll see but i think it's beautiful and again i delay getting this forever because i had an eye on it and now it's one of those items that you're like, why did I not I order it sooner? And so you can't go wrong with Dior. I mean, I'm biased. I love Dior for decades now. So that has been my brand and it still continuously to be my brand because I just like how all their products work on my, maybe it's the coloring, maybe it's the skin type, I don't know, but I really like and the style of course. So, um, yeah, this is it for today. I hope you like it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Please ring the bell and uh, on the right-hand corner. And please comment below. Do you have this eyeshadow palette? Do you like it? Um, for me, it's a new discovery. So I really have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.